Hi, I'm Catherine Diorio, and welcome to Check Please, the show where regular people from all over Chicago recommend and review their favorite restaurants. So this is how the show works. Every week we have three guests. Each recommends his or her favorite spot, and the other two go check them out and see what they think. This week, marketing consultant Jen Peterson says if you haven't found her recommendation yet, then you're truly missing out. She says for simple, smart dishes and an eclectic decor, follow her to her favorite place. But real estate broker Morel Samante says you don't need flowery language to describe her spot because the fantastic food does all the talking. She says for Turkish cuisine, with a twist, join her at her destination. Up first, procurement manager Alex Rodriguez says the value at his favorite is never in short supply. He says the killer cocktails and Chef Kevin Hickey's creations are sure to please. So make your way to Bridgeport and stop by the Duck Inn. My family has been in this neighborhood for five and a half generations, six generations. I've always said that I'm an American chef cooking American food, but I grew up in an Irish, Polish, Mexican neighborhood next to Chinatown, and that's where we are. So the food is really, really influenced by the cultures and the cuisines that I grew up with in Bridgeport. So a lot of Eastern European influences, a lot of Italian, a little bit of Chinese, uh, a little bit of Greek. Uh, it all kind of comes in. The Irish part's just the drinking. I feel very much at home, which I probably never felt that before in my career. Everybody comes really comes to have fun. I've worked in a lot of restaurants in my life, and not everybody always came to have a great time. They just kind of came, and everybody comes here looking to have fun. And it's a great atmosphere, a great environment. Good food alone is not going to get people to come back. It's really all about the whole experience. And I, I knew we could get some good food out of the kitchen, but it had to be a really fun and warm and comfortable environment, and I think that's what we have. So Alex, you say the Duck Inn will win us over. Why'd you choose it? Uh, the Duck Inn, um, we heard about uh, from a couple friends of ours, and we decided to head over, and the food is just fantastic. Um, we went for a restaurant week the first time, um, and we had a prefix, but we saw that these people were ordering at this huge bird dish that we didn't know. <laughs> we had no idea what it was. Um, and it wasn't on the menu. So my girlfriend got a little jealous and she's like, we need to come back. And we ordered the duck, mm -hmm. which was amazing. It's the rotisserie, the backside, they sear the front, um, and it's just gorgeous. It's very, very delicious. So we've been back a few times and we just always love going there. There's so many different times that you can have there. You can go to the bar up front and have a drink and maybe get um, some bar food or you can sit at the bar tables and have some bar food. And there's this beautiful dining room. You can sit at the uh, chef's table and watch them prepare your food or you can go back to the patio. I can't think of any place else in Chicago where you can go and just have a completely different time every time you go there. Great. Well, Moral, what'd you think? Well, you know, I agree with you. The patio and garden to die for. I mean, I would love to come back just to have drinks and dinner with my friends. But for me, you know, because it's strong on the duck and the thigh was on the menu and I'm not a dark meat eater, but I did ask the people next to me, so what did they think? And everybody loved it. They thought it was some of the best duck that they've ever had. My friend who, who tends to eat like pork shoulder, um, duck, you know, like some of those heavier meats loved what she ordered. And I actually had the um, shrimp in risotto, which I loved. Yeah. However, the, the, portion, the prawn, the big right, huge. Right, the prawn, yeah. yeah. It's just small. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you're supposed to have the big duck. Right, right. exactly. <laughs> well, so Jen, what did you think? You came all the way from Evanston to Bridgeport, so it was quite a hike for you. What did you I think? I loved this place. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because <laughs> I don't think I like duck. I loved that. I don't think I like cheese curds. I love <laughs> oh, I love cheese curds. I don't I mean, usually like cheese curds because they're greasy right. and spongy. These were light and flavorful. Yeah. They were that so Bloody Mary good. sauce. <gasps> that Bloody Mary sauce was so good. I loved it. And then the other thing we had was the burrata to start, mm -hmm. which probably was our only weak one. And only mm -hmm. it was good, but just not as good as the sure. other things. Mm -hmm. Something had to be the weak link. Right. Did either of you try the, the full duck? Dinner. Oh yes, we did, and I'm glad. That would be the mm -hmm. only thing. I wish they would make a bigger deal of having that you have to pre-order that. Right. Um, because if I hadn't been told that, 
I never would have, and I would have missed out on what was my favorite thing that we had. So yeah, I, we thank you because we now will make a point to go back there. Yeah, and it was I think so that's good. what he's doing. I think that is what mm -hmm. he's what he's trying to do is is get people to think of Bridgeport as a destination for yeah. restaurants. Kevin Hickey, the chef. Um, a lot of people know him from when he was at Four Seasons for a long time, um, and he changed food so that you had fine dining but taking kind of these comfort foods and elevating them. And you see it on this menu even with the duck dog, which I believe you had, Morel. I had the duck dog, yes. And you know, Kevin obviously uses all organic meats. He does uh -huh. everything by hand, so the hot dog isn't that processed right. hot dog that you <laughs> ate as a kid, you know? Yeah, exactly. and so I have a question. You said you would go back to check it out, but you kind of said you thought the, the portions were a bit small. What do you think of the price point? It was a little bit on the uh, pricier sure, side. Okay. But, you know, again, I, I expected that. So I wasn't surprised. Right, and, and you're, I mean, you're gonna pay $60 for a, a right. duck for a two. Duck. Right, yeah. 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 If you just wanna do bar food, you can get tamales, mm -hmm. you can get the cheese curds, you can get um, wings. So you can have an inexpensive meal there. And you know, the operations director, I found out, he, he greeted us and he had the handlebar yeah. mustache. Sure. And I thought, oh, is this, you know, is this a theme place? <laughs> <laughs> and no, that's, no, how he, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how he dresses. <laughs> I had to say between him and the decor, which is sort of like the 50s, 60s mod. Right. Yeah. As I said to my husband, I'm like, it's current hipster meets 50s mod. Exactly. <laughs> One of the other things I thought was really neat, I think it's every Thursday they do BYOV, which is bring your own vinyl. Yeah. And then people just spin their records. We had the best waitress there, Jackie. Shout out to Jackie. <laughs> she was awesome. And um, she told us, not knowing that we live in Evanston, oh, you guys should come back. So I'm like, this seems so fun, right. but I'm not coming back this Thursday. <laughs> well, Alex, you chose Duck Inn. Sum it up for us. Uh, I would say the Duck Inn is what I like about Chicago. It's modern, um, but it takes dishes that are accessible and brings them to a new level. And Ralph? Oh, I think Duck Inn is a great destination restaurant with a wonderful uh, patio and garden. I would definitely go back there again and try more of the foods. And Jen? Worth the drive, definitely would go back again and definitely order the duck if you go. You can try the rotisserie duck and more at the Duck Inn, 2701 South Eleanor Street, 312-724-8811. Open for dinner Tuesday through Sunday and lunch on weekends. Reservations are accepted, and the average tab per person without drinks is $50. Samante says if you're looking for a feast for the senses, she knows just where to go. She says for all things spicy, savory, and sweet, follow her to Lakeview and join her at Cafe Orchid. If some food smells good, is everybody like oh, so excited. We can write address. Especially lamb is very important. Turkish cuisine and eggplant. Also, a lot of vegetable dish we cook in the best. When we start to open this restaurant, my daughter named the restaurant for keeping. First of all, they think like it's just a small place, and then after they're trying, they're like, oh my god, the food is really good, like they're really satisfied and happy. Turkish people, the most important thing is the hospitality. After a couple of conversations, you become as a family. And everybody loving each other, starting singing together and <laughs> enjoying the work. It really makes us happy and we really work hard. 
fairly happy and proud of it. So Merle, you say Cafe Orchid is one of a kind. Tell us why you chose it. It's a great place to go to if you have a mixed variety of friends. I mm -hmm. am a big carnivore and I have a lot of friends that are vegetarians. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to go to a place that offers some great vegetarian options as well as some great meat options for someone like me. The food is so tasty. Every time I ask a friend, oh, do you want to go with me to Cafe Orchid or let's go to Cafe, everybody will say, oh, Cafe Orchid, I love that place. That food is so good. Is it the toniest restaurant? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. You know, as far as ambiance, you know, you're sitting on folding chairs. <laughs> but the food is what you go for. Okay. So, Jen, what would you think? So, I agree. The food is what you go for. We had sort of a mixed experience. Okay. Um, we brought our three-year-old with us. Mm -hmm. And because he, he comes with, with us to a lot of restaurants, and he loves other ethnic restaurants. So we thought, if anything, we'll fill him up with hummus. <laughs> <laughs> And we did, the food was outstanding. We had the Iskander, is that how you say it? Iskander, Iskander chicken. It's mm -hmm. this chicken with, you're supposed to choose either a butter or a tomato sauce. Right. And we, or you can do both and we, let's do both. It was phenomenal. Um, we loved, loved, loved that. Um, we had sort of a mixed experience with the wait staff. The woman who sat us, didn't even give us the option of sitting outside. She immediately took us inside to a corner. The next guy comes in, sits down. The guy who sat him was like, oh, you want to sit outside. It's a lot nicer outside. I was like, like okay. They do, have, they do have a really yeah. great patio. Well, when you close the patio in the winter, you can actually sit out on the patio in oh, the winter. Oh, and they have the heat going nice. on, which is nice. Very yeah. Nice, yeah. We had a great time. Uh, went to West Lakeview Liquors and picked up a couple beers beforehand and then went over there and we didn't know anything about Turkish food. Right. So um, we just went to the waiter, bring us what you think we should have. Mm -hmm. um, and we tend to be fairly adventurous eaters, so um, whatever they're going to bring us, we're probably going to enjoy. Mm -hmm. We loved it. The two people that I went with just had a wonderful time. They do this um, cube chicken liver, fried mm -hmm. chicken liver mm -hmm. dish that's just amazing. There was this... Um, eggplant like risotto dish mm -hmm. with mozzarella in it have you it, have you had that i haven't had that one oh. i haven't had that i usually go for like the adana kebab which is like a lamb kebab i have a friend that is turkish and he ordered i don't know what it was called but something that was i think it's like a munti munti it, it's like a yeah, raviolis, raviolis. Oh, my husband yeah. Had that. Mm -hmm. yeah that was good mm -hmm. and so he had that and then you know he had another um a dessert that we had that was knefa. It's like a cheese pastry. That's great when you go with someone from Tur from yeah. Turkey. You know, they just order stuff. Right. And I didn't know what he was ordering, right. you know, pretty much. But it was just so tasty and savory. And, you know, we, you know, it didn't, it didn't break the bank for us. The other thing we had as one of the after we had the zucchini pancake. It was outstanding. Even my three-year-old was like, "Yep, I'll eat more <laughs> of that." <laughs> yeah, I didn't have a bad dish. There was there was nothing that we had that was not delicious. Turkish food is very similar to Greek food. It's funny because mm -hmm. people say, oh, it's just like Greek food, but actually Greek food is more actually influenced by Turkish food mm -hmm. since the Turks had actually occupied Greece for <laughs> right. many centuries. So, um, so it is kind of that familiar thing. You'll see kebabs and dolmadakia, which is, you know, the stuffed kapta. grape leaves. Yes. Exactly. The kapta. And so, yeah. um, and the, the monte, that you were talking about, the raviolis, actually, um, the, sh the owner, Kurt Serpin, it takes him and someone else eight hours to make wow. just 25 servings of those. Wow. Just wow. because to the dough so thin. So yeah. fresh there, like the tabbouleh, mm -hmm. you will hear the people chopping the parsley in the back. Right. And every time you, it's like getting going to a place and having fresh guacamole someplace. It's the same place with like their appetizers and their tabbouleh. Mm -hmm. You're like, I know they just made this. Yeah. <laughs> so. so Jenny, you, you brought um, your child and did you think that it was family friendly? Something that? Yeah, definitely. It, Aside from our, go sit in this corner. <laughs> well, that part was, didn't seem so family friendly. Family. But yeah, um, but yeah it, it, because, it, you now do they have a children's menu? No. Do they do special things for kids? No. So I think mm -hmm. if you're going to bring a child with you, it has to be a child who is open or used to eating things that aren't chicken nuggets, mm -hmm. as my son is. I would say the same thing about adults. Yeah, I, I, you know what? You're right. You're right. You, you have to go there with an open mind. Absolutely. You can't be picky, and you just have to, like I said, or let the waiter, if you don't know the food, let mm -hmm. the waiter recommend for you. Let them br just bring out food. There's not going to be anything that's bad. And that's how we were with the chicken, the Iskinder chicken. It was something that she suggested, and we said fine. And all of us, including the, th the three-year-old, may have eaten the most of it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what did you guys think of the price point? Oh, it was great. Oh, it was I, great. I think for three yeah. people, we spent 60 bucks. Uh, yeah, three adults and a child, we spent 60 bucks. And part of that is because it's a BYOB right. Right. as well. That makes a huge difference. Morel, you chose Cafe Orchid. Sum it up for us. Uh, Cafe Orchid is a hidden gem in Chicago um, that serves tasty food, great portions, um, and it's great for carnivores and vegetarians alike. Great. And Jen? Delicious Turkish food, but go with an open mind and open palate and consider carry out. And Alex? It's a great place to go with an open mind. Um, let the servers recommend things for you. Try the liver because it's ridiculous. You can try the kebabs for yourself at Cafe Orchid, 1746 West Addison Street, 773-327-3808. Open for lunch and dinner every day. Reservations are accepted. Alcohol is BYOB and the average tab per person is $20. Peterson knows that some people get lost with all of the dining choices around Chicago. That's why she says if delicious food and an inviting atmosphere are what you're looking for, then follow her up to Evanston and stop by Found Kitchen and Social House. It's called Found for many reasons, because we find everything. We found our furniture, we find our food, and we find our friends. And so much really of this project was about me finding myself. <laughs> I love working with Nicole and I love her food. I tell everybody there's a surprise in every bite. What we do here at Found is we blend so many um, flavors from around the world really well. Um, I've become recently obsessed with Indian food and that style of cooking. When people stumble upon us, they're very surprised. We've created these kind of little vignettes around the restaurant on these spaces that are really cozy and warm and inviting. Um, and we kind of, and that's what we want people to feel. We want them to feel invited to come in the first time and we want them to feel invited to come back. I think I would like them to say, I was at a really kind of cool, groovy spot and the food was amazing and people were nice. I love found. <laughs> it's been so much fun. So it's been really great. So Jen, you say Found is fantastic. Why'd you choose it? We love Found as our mom and dad are having a night out kind of restaurant. It's um, local. I see the chef at the farmer's market every Saturday. I personally could eat appetizers for every meal and it's small plates. So I love the atmosphere. I love the food. I love the cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you don't get to go out as much because obviously you're a mom with a young child. Um, what is it about Found that keeps you coming back there instead of trying somewhere else on those few nights? The menu is different every single time. Um, the, the chef changes the menu really regularly to the point that we went on a Friday and by Monday the menu was different. So it, she just picks whatever's in season or whatever she's liking and adjusts the menu accordingly. Um, I thought the food at Found was great. Um, everything was very, very fresh. She didn't do a lot to it. Mm -hmm. um, olive oil, salt, pepper, let the ingredients shine. Um, the food was excellent. Um, I would say that it was pretty pricey. Mm -hmm. um, you, you, I think we went, we went with four people, and for the four of us, two drinks each, a few plates, 250. Mm -hmm. Done. Eat, like, mm -hmm. really, really quick. Um, the beer menu was a little um, slight. I think there were five beers and five wines to try. Um, but again, the food was phenomenal. 
Well, I agree. The food was tasty, but as in with, you know, shared plates and small plates, there's some hits and there's some misses, Absolutely. you know. Mm -hmm. So yes. you ordered a ton of these little plates. A ton. Tell us about <laughs> some of them. Um, you know, we had uh, the meatballs, you know, it was, it was tasty on the outside, but you could tell they didn't like marinate the meat overnight. You know, you didn't get that flavor through. Although so the sauce was really good. The sauce, sauce was, was so amazing. Good. Yeah. So that out of everything, that was like my least favorite. But there was an um, a char, I believe. When we first tasted it, we were like, this is pure harmony. I mean, you know, you had, yeah. I mean, and I, it was a consensus. We were like, this was our favorite dish. Uh, we ordered a lot. We ordered the melon salad, the kale salad. We tried to order the char, but they didn't have it, so I, we ordered the steak instead. Um, and then we ordered the pork belly and the chicken. Um, the steak and the chicken, they were both a little under. Um, a couple of the girls there weren't really big, um, rare eaters, mm -hmm. so they weren't really thrilled about it. Did and you ask them to throw it back on the grill? No, because um, they slice it, yeah. so you really can't right, throw it yeah. back on the grill, otherwise it's well. Yeah. So Jen, this is one of your favorite places to go. What are some of your favorite dishes to get? Well, it's hard to have a favorite because it changes all the time. Um, my absolute favorite is the flatbread with Parmesan and arugula. We had the um, pork chop, which was fantastic. Um, we did the, We always do the cheese plate just because we love cheese. We always get the meatballs just because it's another one that's always on the menu. I, I actually like the corn polenta. I mean, you know, it's a simple dish, but you know, a lot of it's it, not easy to make. Like, it's a yeah. simple dish, but it's not easy to make well. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's owned by Amy Morton, obviously from the Morton family, mm -hmm. and then Nicole Peterson is the chef. She's obviously very committed to farm fresh, and, and it seems like a lot of chefs say that, but she was an early kind of to, to those mantra long before it was fashionable mm -hmm. to be so. The atmosphere of the night that we went, I don't know if this is a, an occasion that happens all the time, but they had a jazz combo. That's once a week, yeah. Oh, it's once a week. So we hit it on the right night. Yeah. So I was like, wow, this place is so hopping. And, uh, <laughs> and so the, it created so much more for our atmosphere. Let's talk a little bit about the decor. I mean, there's yeah, velvet banquettes, and not all of the tables are true tables. Right. So, um, and that's why it, it is important if you want to have a table to make a reservation because it does fill up quickly. And because not all the tables are tables, you might get seated at the bar, you might get seated with a little tiny shared table. But the bar, we've eaten at the bar too, and the bar is just as great. And they have these cute little mini benches almost. So if it's just me and my husband, we can share a little bench, have a cocktail, have a couple small plates. And Speaking of bar, let's talk about the cocktails there. Yum. Um, so the cocktails are delicious, and she tries to again use local. Use market so, ingredients. Exactly. So um, we have a distillery in Evanston called Few Spirits. Um, my mm. favorite cocktail is the Babbling Brook, which features Few Spirits. We also had the Boozy Floozy, which they make homemade <laughs> sodas. Just name. I know. I, we did. <laughs> Who doesn't love a Boozy Floozy, <laughs> exactly. right? Um, so they make homemade sodas, yeah. and then they'll add booze to it to make it the Boozy Floozy. Well, Jen, you chose found. Sum it up for us. I love it because you never know what's going to be on the menu in a good way. Um, you always get to find something. You always get, oh, I'm going to steal that. You always get to find something. Get found. <laughs> great. And Alex? Uh, Fun was great. Um, the food, like I said, is very simple, very well prepared. Um, it's a little bit pricey, but if you know that going in, you're going to have a good time. Great. And Ro? Definitely go when they have the jazz combo. It creates for an even more um, fun atmosphere and uh, a little bit pricey, uh, but the food was excellent. You can try it for yourself at Found Kitchen and Social House, 1631 Chicago Avenue in Evanston, 847-868-8945. Open for lunch and dinner Tuesdays through Saturdays, dinner only on Sundays, and closed on Mondays. Reservations are accepted, and the average tab per person without drinks is $40. So on this week's show, we featured the Duck Inn in Bridgeport, Cafe Orchid in Lakeview, and Found Kitchen and Social House in Evanston. Let's recap what our guests had to say. First, we dined at the Duck Inn on Eleanor Street. Alex recommends it because he can get a completely different experience every time he goes. Morel raved about the Duck Inn's beautiful atmosphere. Jen loved the cheese curds and said she'd definitely make a point to go back. Next, we made our way to Addison Street and checked out Cafe Orchid. Morel recommends it for its tasty food and great portions. 
Jen thought the food was delicious and found it to be family friendly. Alex loved the liver and said it's all about going in with an open mind. Lastly, we took a trip to the northern suburbs to Found Kitchen and Social House. Jen recommends it for the ever-changing seasonal menu selections. Alex thought the food was simple, but very well prepared. Morel loved the jazz combo and fun atmosphere. We had an awesome time this week. I want to thank my guests, Alex Rodriguez, Morel Samante, and Jen Peterson. Join us next week for three new guests recommending three of their favorite restaurants right here on Check Please. I'm Catherine Diorio, and I'll see you then. Cheers. For more information about the restaurants featured on Check Plays, go to wttw.com slash checkplays. Thank you.